welcome back. I'm Anish and I'm one of the product marketers of Zoho Creator. So in this session, exploring Zoho Creator, we saw different sessions from the morning, you know, where Sridhar, Raju and Haider gave a high level view. Then Kupu started building an app from scratch. But there are a lot more features in Zoho Creator, which we have been building over the past nine to 10 years. And it's impossible to cover it in just one session. So we'll be doing that over the next few sessions. So in this particular session, I'll be talking about four important features of Zoho Creator. These are important, but these are unexplored. Many people are not using it. Some of you might have already used it. So these are the four features which I'll be talking about. Translation, the second one, is our mobile apps. Third one is customer portal. Fourth is ro roles and permission. So as I work with our developers, um, one of our developers is Jose Perez. Jose Perez sits in Spain. And he develops applications for clients all over the world. So in a typical case, he has a US client. It happens like the US client is working with vendors from China. And US clients' customers are sitting in Mexico. Jose finds that Zoho support is sitting in India. So is it like four languages already for Jose? And you know, this 25 Indian languages are unaccounted. So we believe like you know, language should not be a barrier for businesses. And that's why we have translation feature in Zoho Creator. So when I say translate, it's not just one language. You can translate it to any language. You can see a list of languages that we have Let's take a look at this particular screen. On the left-hand side, you can see an app screen in English. And on the right-hand side, you, it in, you see it in Spanish. Any of you knew Spanish here? Oh, I think Richard knows it. So do you see anything is not correct or something? The language wise? Oh, sorry. OK. <laughs> OK. OK. So in case you are a native speaker of a particular language and if you find that the auto translation, which we do, is, needs some modification, what you can do is go to settings, change it, and then come back live. So on the left side, you know, you see the Spanish translation is showing it as inventory. What we can do is you go to settings, change inventory to inventorio, and then come back to the app. So this flexibility translation features offers. Not only that, once you have set the translation, and let's take Jose's case again. He has his vendors in China. So he wants to automatically display it in Chinese, the app. And when it comes to his customers in Mexico, he wants to display it in Spanish. So how to automatically display it? You can have three options. The operator will automatically check the browser's local language and have that in the app translated. Or the login user's language. When you create a Zoho account, we you check your native language. You can do that also. Or there is a third option, user's choice. Now let me go to the product and give you a brief about translation. So I'm already in the product. I'm going into one of the app, find inventory. So this is the app, and these are the forms and reports. I go into the settings by clicking on the edit this application. I go into app settings, and then I have translation feature there. So I have this access this application in English. Now I check it into Spanish. Now I move into the app, access this application, and you can see immediately it's translated. So let me get back into the settings again. Translation. 
Let's switch it back to English. So in case you need to make any modification, you click on the translate button here, select the language and the component, maybe the forms or reports where you want to make the change, you can do that. Let me go to the next application, I mean the feature. The second feature which I'm going to talk about is mobile apps. We all agree like, you know, devices are the new office desk. Everybody works from the mobile. You, know, you have all your business apps, your email, everything is done through mobile. So, all your Zoho Creator apps, we believe it should be available on your mobile for PC consumption. Whichever app you create on the web interface, it's available in mobile without any particular de development effort, no extra effort. And we have Zoho Creator app for iOS, Android, and Windows. So let me show you a quick, quick preview of that. So I already logged into this application. When you have the application, you have to enter your password and your username. I'm already done that. And here are the list of apps that I have. And let's say I check into Silicon Wine Inventory Management. I have my different reports and forms over here. You can see the form, the same form which you see on the web, on the mobile. You enter the details and you can submit it. And if you want to see the reports, you can see that at 12 under the inventory report. And then you can edit it. All the possibilities that you have on a web application directly comes on the mobile as well. So this is for iOS. You have it on the Android and your Windows as well. We have more interesting stuff coming on mobile. On day two, we have been announcing it already. So hope to see you all for unboxing session tomorrow and also endless possibilities. The third feature I'm going to talk about is customer portal. So when we look at the outside world, we see like you know, more and more people are moving towards self-service. The world as itself is moving towards self-service. You want to you know, book a taxi, you go to create an account in Uber and book the taxi. You want to order a pizza, you go to the online pizza store and order it. So when we see like you know, we are letting customers manage themselves. We don't want customers don't want anybody to come in between you know accessing or using their service. So that kind of a setup has a good thing. It's a win-win for both businesses and customers. Businesses can move the resources elsewhere without you know, engaging them in serving customers. Customers also find it comfortable to find their own way. So give customers a separate space. So that's what customer portal is for. When you have an application in Creator and you want to build a portal on your own, it's going to be an additional expense. But though Creator, provides a customer portal for all the applications. So when you have an app, you have a customer portal also for that. What a customer portal really does is it puts you in control. You will get your own login. The customers who are coming to your portal can create a login for their own purpose. And you can map the portal to your own domain. Zoho is not involved there and you can even have your own branding. So this portal is where customers create their own account and can personalize it. Let's say uh, this wine store, which we have been talking about as a you know, support portal, that customers want to check their past orders or any delivery delay that's happening. So they can sign into this portal and check their past orders about the delivery, is it going to take a delay or not? 
these all things customers can check on their own. So this is how you can sign into a typical customer portal. When you map it to your domain, it's like a completely white label space. So customer portal in, is also applicable for if you have a vendor management system, you can have a vendor's portal. Or if you're running a healthcare portal, you can have a portal separately for patients. Or if you are developing a course management application, you can have a student's portal. So any case where you want to give external access outside your organization, you can create a portal. So let me quickly get into the product and show you where you can find customer portal and set it up. Again, I come back to the application settings. And you can see customer portal here. I already set up a portal for you. In addition, what you can do is you can see domain mapping and map the portal to your domain. We have more options here in customer portal. You can add users to your portal. You can create profiles for them. You can send email notifications to invite customers to the portal. You can customize your email. And the portal page also, you can customize. The login page, the sign up page, and in case there is a reset password, That's about customer portal. And in customer portal, unlimited users plan of low creator, you can add up to 100,000 customers. You can add even more customers by selecting an appropriate pricing plan. The next feature which I'll be talking about is users and permissions. You see, any organization, any organization has a set of roles and permissions assigned to people. That's how they set privileges so that information is available and it's not compared. So let's take the example of the winery store, wine store. So we have different users there, the winery owner, purchase manager, sales manager, shipping clerk. So all these people come, have different roles and they come under a hierarchy. And a winery owner wants to have access to all the information. Maybe the purchase manager wants to access only data related to purchase. Sales manager wants to see only the sales reports. Production manager wants to see the production and what's happening in the lab. Shipping manager wants to see the delivery and all that stuff. So this is what exists in the real world, how a winery is managed. Role-based privileges. When you have the entire real world inside an app itself, and you make it in a wine management store, in a management application, this particular app has to be secured too. So in roles and permissions, what we do is map the real world roles and permissions inside the app too. So a winery owner will have the same access privileges inside the app also. A purchase manager will have similar permissions inside the app. Sales manager will have similar permissions. So let me quickly go into the product and show you where you can set it. I come back to settings. There are users and permissions link over here. The different roles that people in a winery has, the sales manager, CEO, purchase manager, and all that. Here are the list of permissions that you can give for a particular application. Here you see the set of 
forms that we have in the application. And these are the set of permissions that we can set. By the way, the different set of permission, we can group it into profile, which you can set as an administrator or member or a user. If you want to go an additional level, we want to set permissions on a field level. Let's say we have a form, orders. Orders, there is a field called price, which you don't want anybody else to change. Then you have to set a field level permission. That particular field, the price per bottle, should be, can be changed only by the winery owner or anybody else. That kind of granular permissions you can set by coming here, field permission. So I spoke about translation, mobile apps, customer port, portal, roles and permissions. As I told the introduction itself, there are a lot more features. So let me call three more features. This is one particular feature, formula field, which many of the people miss us. So let's say the binary inventory is there, and you know, people are entering the details. And there is a field price per bottle and total quantity. So as soon as somebody makes an entry in this form, that what would be good if the total cost is automatically calculated. So a formula field can be used in that kind of a application, that kind of a case. So you can see like the total cost is calculated. 15 into 43, 645. It's calculated then and there, even before the submission. So the next feature is conditional formatting. Let's say uh, somebody from the winery is looking at an inventory report. And there is a field called available quantity. So maybe the winery has an internal mandate that whenever the quantity goes less than 10, uh, there should be an order, a new order to be made. So when we look at the report, immediately you should get which wines are less than 10, which are more than 10. So to do that, you can set the conditional formatting and apply certain fields. Right now, when you see a field which has a value above 10 is green, and field which has 10 or below is red. So this you can set in using conditional formatting. So fields that need special attention needs conditional formatting. So this is the last feature which I'll be talking about. It's about combined view. So let's say you have two reports. You know, in this particular case, it would be the order form, and then there is an inventory form, both creating an order report and inventory report. There comes a case where you need to combine both these reports. Like, you know, there are related information in an inventory form to an order form. How do you combine two reports? And that's where combined view helps you. So in this particular report, this inventory report, it has a field wine name. And we have another, another report, all of those report, which has a related information, the wine name again, which it looks up into the inventory report. Now we have a case where we need a report where all orders should show the available quantity as well. And you can use the combined view and have the available quantity also added to that particular report. So you, you get over the unnecessary hassle of to, to looking at two different reports. You can combine them and just have them as one report. So let me summarize. We covered translation, mobile apps, customer portal, roles and permissions. And then we had a quick look through the three different features. So there are a lot more features that are to be covered, which will be taken up in the next upcoming sessions. Advanced app building, introductory and all that. Thank you.